you know, first of all, congratulate uh, Mina. Uh, during the last year, I was reading uh, a little uh, message in one of the Indian journals. There have been close to 500 books published by Indian origin authors living abroad. And uh, I had an opportunity of glancing through Subay Ka Suraj Ab Mera Nahi. It's a book in three languages. And the book's being launched in three languages in a place that is a central library of a city, of a country, which shares a great civilizational heritage like India. Canada and India have so many complementarities. India is one of the countries where differences are celebrated. Diversity is cherished. And multiculturalism is a way of life. And uh, it couldn't have been more visible up here when we all in this gathering on a day which is Sunday, taking time out from our busy schedules and of course the game. My son and I'm cheering for Canada. <laughs> and it shows uh, how much uh, we value. And uh, I must say, you know, the subtle nuances which uh, uh, Meena has juxtaposed uh, elements of nature uh, with the elements that are commonly visible. It's, it's a rhapsody, you know, in search of uh, deeper meaning of life. And I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, all these three uh, volumes would generate a certain kind of awareness. Awareness not only about what we are and what we do. India, you know, uh, the way we attain freedom defines us what we are. We are an inclusive society not because somebody imposed it, because there's so much India is a country with 1.2 billion people with 28 languages. And if I tell you, it has 740 million electorates. And in the recent elections, 500 and close to 8, 508 million people voted over a period of one month, all electronically, adult franchise. Results are declared in a day, and the government is formed. That shows the maturity, and that maturity, when an Indian comes out and integrates into a society like Canadian society, brings out those values, those cultures. And of course, when they integrate with the values which are so similar, which are held so dear as in India, here in Canada, I don't feel even a bit that I'm serving abroad. I feel so much within, 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 within our own people, not because uh, they look alike, but also, even if they look different, they share the same mindset what we do. And I have no doubt that through books like this, Meena would continue her journey, not only through Ignited Lines, not only through glimpses of the setting sun, but many more. Wish you all the best. Thank you. societies um, and I think uh, Canada though we cherish it and we sometimes glorify it, it's still an experiment and I think we are souls kind of caught in the crosswinds of multiculturalism, my attempt at poetry. Anyway, uh, hopefully Canada will become unselfconsciously multicultural like India is today. Uh, thank you Mr. Chair. Um, now Marianne, would you like to say or uh, uh, about both or anything, but uh, I leave it to you. You want to come up here and say? Okay. Thank you. okay. Then I call upon the heroine of the script, uh, Meena Chopra. Uh, it's your turn now.
I welcome you all and thank you very much for coming here on a Sunday, taking our time and be here. And I just want to say a couple of things. It, is, uh, it has been actually a team effort with uh, Mr. Suman Khai and Naseem who really helped me out in uh, writing it in uh, English script and uh, Urdu script. Uh, and the purpose was that it can reach out to many more people. Uh, also, Tahira Masroor is not here. She did the final editing of the Urdu version, uh, having a command over English, Hindi, Urdu, very well, all three languages. And I also thank uh, Hindi Writers Guild. Uh, Federation of Canadian Poets who have been so much supportive about it. And uh, of course, uh, Mr. Benz for being here. Always, always very supportive for everything. Mr. Salmana and Mr. Atkinson was very supportive of you. I just, uh, a couple of points I read out from the book and then Journey, co-traveling perpetually. 